good morning so today is october the 1st and it's just gone about 20 past 12 and i thought i'd take you on my run run walk with me so i know that i've been doing a lot of videos and voiceovers but the reason i'm doing this starting from today is one is october is uh menopause awareness month apparently so for the past nine months or eight months my weight loss has been quite slow namely because i haven't been doing that much exercise but since i got back into running and the reason i went back into running is because i really don't want to spend two hours walking or I do but then it just takes a big chunk of your day so that's why it got to a point well let me start running and so I can't run the whole 10k so I've been doing walk run walk run or run as long as I can and then walk just to have a rest and then carry on running and it's really helped with the weight loss so i thought i'd re start recording my weight loss journey and namely what i eat just to show that i do it quite normally i don't make an effort of starving myself because that really isn't the point of this journey i think being in perimenopause or menopause and having to deal with all the symptoms the last thing you want to do is starve or make it painful so that's what I'm going to share and now I'm gonna go and carry on with my run because walking is pretty much slowing down my timing and I've done really well with my timing so I think the the fastest I've done it so far this year doing 10k is about an hour and 35 minutes so which is okay actually but about six seven years ago time 21 minutes zero five seconds distance 2.01 kilometers average pace 10 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer so that's my pace for walking um, so I was saying about six or seven years ago I used to do a walk run 10k I've never ever been able to run the whole 10k um, in one go so I used to do it in my fastest time was an hour and five minutes so being near on well seven years older <laughs> An hour and 35 minutes is not bad. So I'm gonna go and do my run and I shall speak to you later. home now and I took about an hour and 35 minutes I think it says on my app to do 9.93 kilometers of walk running so that included the time when I had to stop and take some scenic views for you for the video and what I'm going to do now is make my lunch so I'm going to have what I had similar to yesterday which is uh, fish cakes with roasted cauliflower namely because although we've got salad I prefer to have the cauliflower one because it's gonna go in and roast while I'm heating up the fish cake as well or cooking the fish cake 
and it's also because it's heavier because it's got more fiber in it than a salad would it will help to keep me for a bit longer and I can have I, I quite like that bulk in my lunches although salads are nice now that the weather is getting colder I do prefer hot food and also after a run because I didn't have anything for breakfast this morning I need something substantial and I might actually have a fried egg with it because I know that if I don't have anything substantial enough with the running and the exercise that I've done it will wake me up in the night and it will be quite hard to sleep so I know I need to make sure that I eat enough to sustain me during the night with all the exercise that I've done lunch was a bit off-putting. I managed to eat all the vegetables and the egg but I didn't quite finish the fish cake because it just smelled a bit too strong and in all honesty I didn't realise that it's a day out of date which isn't a problem really it's just I think because it is out of date and we've had it in the fridge for quite a few days I think it's probably just going on the off side but I just got to finish it and now my stomach feels a bit rumbly I just feel a bit nauseous <laughs> so I'm having a cup of peppermint tea and you can't see it because it's on the side but during this vlogtober and I looked it up on YouTube and it does exist and there I was thinking I was creating something new but I'm not so vlogtober this is going to be the first video for my vlogtober and it's my first vlogtober too so I thought I'd make a list of the things I'm going to cover during this month and all I'm going to cover is basically what I eat what I drink including all the multi things that I eat and drink how active I've been during the day and just as important as all the other topics I'm going to cover is my sleep and my disturbed sleep really is the biggest symptom that I'm coping with it's a lot better now than it was five years ago when I started this journey and I didn't realize what was going on and five years ago I was only getting five full nights sleep per month and although i was getting some sleep i was really it, it was really bad because i was waking up and i just couldn't go back to sleep again whereas although i still get disturbed sleep i can luckily after an hour and a half or an hour i can go back to sleep again and i'm so lucky but i don't get up to go to work so that is one good thing that i'm really really grateful for that i can work from home and i can do these videos and do all the other things that i do from home so that's what i'm going to cover because it's half past four now 
I'm going to go and start editing the videos I've created so far and I probably won't be able to do dinner. So although Mr G is back, he's still working and he didn't get time to go to the shops and get our dinner for tonight. So I will need to wait for him to do that. So although I won't have time to record and upload what we're having for dinner and drinks and what have you, because Fridays and the weekends tend to be the days when we have a few glasses of vino and we relax our diet a bit more. So I will record those for tonight and I'll use them as part of tomorrow's video. And until then, have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow.